We're using the skills I learned to work in a Michelin star restaurant to make the French Laundry signature dessert, coffee and donuts. For the coffee semifredo, split a vanilla bean and scrape the seeds from one half. Hard to find ingredients and tools I used are linked in the description. Add three yolks, 90 grams sugar, and half a vanilla pod to the bowl of a stand mixer. Whisk until it triples in volume, about 12 minutes. Mix in 22 grams of espresso extract. Then transfer the mixture to an ice bath. Into a clean bowl, mix four ounces heavy cream, 30 grams sugar till it forms soft peaks. Fold the whipped cream into the egg yolk mixture a third at a time, then place back on the ice. Into a clean bowl, whisk two egg whites until they become frothy. Then add 30 grams sugar and mix until soft peaks form. Fold in the meringue a third at a time. Divide the semifredo into six cups, leaving room for the frothed milk. Gently tap the bottom to remove any air pockets, then cover and freeze a minimum of six hours. To make the sponge, Bloom 3.5 grams of dry active yeast and 75 milliliters of water. Ideal temp for the water is just above body temperature. Mix together 75 grams of flour and your yeasty boys with a dough hook. Let the sponge proof 1-2 to two hours at room temperature or in the fridge overnight. A good sponge should have a name. This one is Bob. For the second part of the dough, warm 35 milliliters of milk and mix with 3.5 grams of yeast. In a stand mixer, Add 150 grams flour, 65 grams sugar, 3 grams kosher, and mix. Then add in the yeasty boys with 3 large egg yolks and 1 ounce of butter and mix till combined. Add in bob plus 60 grams flour and mix 4 to 5 minutes until a ball forms. If the dough seems wet, add 10 to 20 grams more flour then refrigerate overnight. Place the dough on a lightly floured surface and roll half an inch thick. Oops, a little too far. Give it a little scrunchy scrunchy, that's better. Use a two inch ring mold to punch out the donuts and use a three fourths inch cutter for the center. You can re-roll out the trim and punch just as before, but they will not look as good as the first round. Place some parchment on a sheet tray and give it a good spray. Place the donuts on the sheet tray and give a second spray for good measure. Wrap and let it rise at room temperature for 60 to 90 minutes. Heat a pot of oil to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and fry the first side for 30 seconds. Flip the donuts over and cook 60 seconds, then flip back to the first side and cook for another 30 seconds. Drain the donuts to remove any excess oil and while they are still hot, coat in cinnamon sugar. To make the cinnamon sugar, Mix 105 grams of sugar with 3 grams of cinnamon. Place the semifredo on the plate with the donut. Steam 4 ounces of milk and place it on the semifredo. Watch this next to see the French Laundry's $4 annualati. 